Recognize your parts that are strong, like your bones, your muscles, your outer shell, your skin. Bring awareness to your heart, your breath, and your mind. Just know that these things are working in the background all day long for you. Just be aware of the fact that your body is magnificent, so pretty, intricate, detailed thing. Therefore, we must be kind to it. We must take care of it and treat it as if it is a temple, as it is sacred. So as we practice today, working again on our himsa, non-violence, non-harm, keep that in mind, that your body is something to take care of, something to honor, something to um, really be in awe of. And now we'll gently tuck our chin towards our chest. You can keep your palms on your lap and just start to gently rock your head from one shoulder to the other shoulder, massaging out the back of your neck. And this space and this time is important for you to really pay attention so that you're honoring what your body's needs are. And then we'll move back through center, lift your chin up to neutral, and then roll your shoulders back, take your hands and reach them behind you. You can open your eyes wide and then reach the arms up above. Stretch tall, press your feet into the ground. Lift your shoulders up high and then soften the shoulders or inner extended mountain pose. Feel the chest rise and fall as you breathe. If you have any sort of heart conditions like high blood pressure or any of those, Keeping your hands above your heart may not feel so good and it may raise your blood pressure. You can always adjust by keeping your hands on your hips. We're gonna take the left hand down and reach the right arm over your head. And then we'll gently float to the other side. And when you're ready, we're just gonna move from right side to left side. Waking up the sides of our body. Now, once we finish out on the right side, reach the right arm up to join the left arm. Bend the elbows, cactus, lift your chin, lift your heart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, straighten out the arms to a T-shape, turn your palms down, press the shoulders and the hands down. Lift your right shoulder up, bring it back and push it down and then forward. So roll out that right shoulder. Don't worry about the left one at the moment. Just focus all your attention on that right shoulder. See if you can keep your right elbow straight. I see some more joining. Good morning, everybody. 
I see you, but you're probably on mute. <laughs> One more shoulder roll with the right side and then reach that right hand in front of you. Like reach out as if you're trying to give me a, a shake. Bring your right arm across your body. Hold on with the left hand or the left elbow and gently nudge over your right shoulder. As you do that, lift your head so the neck lengthens and then turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Feel that nice stretch in your shoulder. And we breathe. We soften, we enjoy the stretch. And then we'll extend the left arm out, bring it down, reach the right arm up, pat yourself on the back. Take your left hand and place it on your left elbow and encourage the tricep and the bicep to kind of pull back as you're walking your fingertips down your back and your spine here. If you want to get fancy, reach around this left hand and see if you can find your right fingers. My, I can do it on one side, but I can't do it on the other side. And then we'll release the right arm from above and roll out that arm in the air out beside you. Just making some circles. And then circle in the opposite direction. Slow down your circles. Go really slow. Move as if you're moving through water. It takes a little more effort to go slow. And then lower the right arm down. Notice how the right side of your body feels, maybe a little different than the left side. And then we'll acknowledge that and move into the shoulder rolls. Left shoulder comes up by your left ear, push it back, down, and then forward. Try to keep your left elbow straight and really focus working on that trapezius muscle on your left side. Keep going. Couple more times around, loosening up. Now reach that left hand forward as if you're gonna shake my hand. Then bring the arm across your chest using your right elbow or your right hand. Nudge over. To the, to the right side, your left arm. Drop your left shoulder, lift up your head. To add on, look over to the left. So feel where the stretch is coming from here. We'll release the left arm back out and then reach it up. Pat yourself on the back. Option is to take the right hand to the elbow and encourage the left hand to slide down your back or to reach around and bind and see if you can find your left fingertips. So the more you encourage, the more you can feel the muscles right here in your arm, kind of getting a stretch. Beautiful. Take another deep breath in. Exhale it out. Release that arm straight out to the side, make some circles. And 
One more big time around, go slow as you can. Reach up and all the way down, lower. Notice how the left shoulder, maybe the left arm feels connects to the right one. Ah, now that we've worked our shoulder some, let's work on our still mid back. We're gonna take a couple twists from side to side. You can either hold your arms out, you can hold your hands on your lap, but just go for a little bit gentle side to side. No need to really push more than you need to in these side to sides. Just feeling where the body needs some movement. One shoulder coming forward, the other one going back. You're also, if your hands are rubbing on your legs, you're creating a little friction, which feels good. All right, now come forward, with both hands to your knees, round like cat. Tuck your chin in, really separate your vertebrae as you articulate your back so that the upper part is rounding. Hold here for a couple breaths, breathe in, exhale it out. Breathe in again, exhale it out. On this one, breathe in, hold it at the top. As you exhale, slide your hands down your legs into a, a forward fold. Widen out your knees to get your belly some space. So as low as you like. If you feel dizzy, don't take your head too low. So be mindful of how this feels. Now we've moved into the low back, the low to mid back. Feel that space back there and then gently start to sway. Moving your body from one knee to the other, the torso, just gently rocking, massaging your back. Also, you can hold your elbows for ragdoll. It's another way to do this. And when you're ready, come to stillness. Hands slide up your shins, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, going nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back, extend the arms up, mount. Bring your hands to your heart center. All right, let's lift that right knee up and draw a circle. You could take your hands down from prayer if you wanna hold onto your hips. Draw a circle with the right knee in the air. Right now we're just warming up all the joints. And this circle in the other direction. And then when you're ready, you feel like that leg is tired a bit, drop it back down. Notice how the right side feels, and then we'll take a notice of the left side. Lift up your left knee, and we'll draw a circle in the air with the left knee. If you've had a hip replacement or any hip issues, you may notice one side works a little different than the other one. My right hip, when I circle like this, it feels like I'm knocking into bone. And you don't really want that if you're finding too much of that. Be careful. Um, we don't want bones rubbing up against bone. So if you're finding that crunchy sounds and stuff like that, that's, that doesn't seem quite right, be mindful and make another choice. Circle in the other direction. And then we'll release the left leg back to meet the right. See how those legs feel. Straighten out your knees. Tilt down. You see the puppies down here with me. We're gonna straighten out our legs. 
come into a downward facing dog shape. So we're gonna start by spreading our fingers wide and then lean forward. Press your 10 toes into the ground. Then exhale, bring it back, lean back. Bring your elbows back. Exhale, press forward. Bring it back. Reach forward. Bring it back. So think of us doing like a push up here. Pressing it out as far as we can. Spread those fingers out wide and then pull it back. Everything squeezes in. Reach forward and back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to hold this for five, for four, three, two, and one. Lower the arms and hold onto the chair. Lift your right foot up. Draw a circle with the right foot in the sky. So point that right big toe, make a big old circle. So again, working the hips. My belly's nice and tight because I'm squeezing it. Now circle in the other direction. And lower left, right leg down. Reach tall mountain. Hinge forward into your downward facing dog. Pull it back to your thigh plank. Push forward. Bring it back. Three more. Reach forward. Reach out. Last one. Hold here for five, four, three, two and one, lower your hands down, grip the chair, lift up your left foot, make a circle with the left foot. All right, circle one more time in this direction, notice which way you're going and then switch gears. Keep breathing. Start to feel in it. And then lower. The oh, I told you it might be madness here today. Inhale, reach up. Tall mountain. Exhale, fold over your legs. If you need to bend your knees some to fold, then do that. Let yourself kind of get into that low back here. Forward, forward, all the way down. Breathe in and out of your nose. All right, take your time, slide your hands up your shins. Bend your knees, bring them close in, lift up onto your tippy toes. Reach your arms up. So imagine you're a ballerina and you're on your tippy toes. Lift your right knee up, hold it. We're balancing on the left big toe. Exhale the hands down. Inhale, left knee comes up. Exhale down. Inhale, right toes. Exhale, arms down. Left toes. Exhale, arms down. Now tippy toe your feet forward until you can no longer tippy toe. Hinge forward, lower your heels and come into a forward fold. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Take your right forearm across your lap, reach up with the left. Big twist. Exhale, lower left arm down, reach your right arm up. And then we'll switch sides. Left arm comes up, right arm stays down. Back to the right. 
Other option is just to take your left hand in between your legs and kind of reach down with it. That also helps get a little shoulder stretch in too. Down. Let both arms and head drop down to the ground. Deep breath in, long, slow breath out. Take your time, rise up. Reach your arms out to the side and then up to the sky. Hands to your heart center. Good. We're gonna take another twist, a different version of a twist. If you have something that you, like a pillar or something you can put in between your knees, you can try that if there's one nearby you. A block also works. Um, <clears throat> pillow, <clears throat> bolsters or any sort of pillow works. So I just happen to have one like this nearby. <clears throat> if you don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to have one. It's just, it makes you feel like your legs are engaged when you squeeze something. So now I'm gonna squeeze into this, or if you don't have one, just squeeze into your knees and just feel the tightness in the legs. Bring your hands to prayer and we're gonna to twist to the right. And come back through center and we'll twist to the left. Keep engaging those legs by squeezing, squeezing, squeezing them together. Back through center and twist back to the right. And through center and over to the left. And through center, this time we're gonna fold forward. So if you have something there, you can fold on too great. If you don't, just dangle. Let your head and your, your shoulders relax here. Good, gently slide yourself all the way up. And we'll move through a couple sun salutations, then we're gonna stand up. All right, inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms, lean back, open the chest and the heart. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, round to cat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, rise, lift the right foot up. Exhale, lower the right foot, cactus. Inhale, re extend. Exhale, round for your cat like shape. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Rise up, left knee comes with you. Exhale, cactus arms, lower the left foot. Inhale up. Exhale, round to cat. Inhale, fold forward. Lift a pathway. Exhale, fold. Right knee lifts, kick it up. Exhale, straighten it out. Push out through your right heel. Lift up your ribs and your chest. Exhale, bend the knee, cactus your arms, heart forward. Inhale, re-extend up. Exhale, round. Inhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise up, left leg. Kick it out, straight. No! Not, not zen like. I knew this no! was going to be a problem. I'm so sorry. This is life of quarantine. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, bring your hands to your heart center. Smile because life is messy. 
and then we'll um, shake it out and come into a standing posture. All right, so come behind your chair. We're gonna do a couple um, sun salutations standing. And then we're gonna work on that low back here. So start by standing in Tadasana. Spread your toes out wide. Make sure your feet are about hip distance apart. They're not too close, they're not too far apart, but they feel just right. Inhale, reach your arms up. Maybe add in a back bend here if you wanna reach your upper arm bones behind your head, pressing your chest and your belly forward. Keep your chin neutral. Exhale, bring your arms down to the chair. Step back your left foot, then step back your right foot, come into your downward facing dog. Stretch out your back and your legs. Make some movement here in your downward facing dog. Yes, I said dog. And then we'll inhale, lift up your chest, step your right foot towards the chair, Spin your left foot to the left side, warrior one. Keep your hands on the chair or extend the arms up. Nice bend in the right knee, feeling the expansion in the left side body here. Exhale the hands down. Push off through the left leg, step the feet together. Inhale, mountain reach up. Exhale, lower your hands back to the chair. Step back with your right foot. Step back with your left foot, downward facing dog. Look forward and step your left foot to the chair. Spin your right foot to the right side of the room. Warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale the hands down to the chair. Push off with that back foot. Step your feet together. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands down to the chair. Step back with your left foot. Right foot is forward. Step back with the right foot. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up to a cat-like shape. So inhale, push up through your shoulder blades. Exhale, push back through your hips, back into your full expression of downward facing dog. Inhale, push back up into that cat shape. Exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Look forward, step your right foot to the chair. Keeping the left toes facing forward, we're gonna come into a twist here. Right hand is gonna reach forward, left hand's gonna stay on the chair. Reach back, spiral your chest open, left side's coming towards you're turning your body to the right side of the room. Next, you're gonna bend into the right knee, sweep the right arm up, lift up your back left heel, and come into a crescent warrior. Exhale the hands down, step your feet together, shake it out. Sending ourselves up into a tall mountain, gazing up. Exhale the arms down. Step back with the right foot, bringing the left foot is gonna stay forward. And we're gonna turn your body to the left side. Hold on with your right hand, reach back. Left arm is really trying to touch the back side of the room behind you. Feeling the stretch right here. Maybe you can get a little bit into that IT band. Bring your left hand forward and bend into your left knee. Maybe you can lift up your right heel. And bend a little bit deeper into the left knee and come into a crescent warrior. Arms reaching above your head or arms on your hips, finding a balance. Take your hands 
Back to the chair, push off through the right foot, step your feet together, shake it out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down to the chair and step back to your downward facing dog. So this is really good for your back, good for your shoulders, good for your legs. It's a great pose. Now we're going to bend into the right knee a lot. Look under your left arm and push out your left hip. So it's feeling it again right here, side body and the, your left hip bone. And then we'll switch it out to the other side. Left hand's gonna hold the chair, bend your left knee. Look under your right arm. And come back to neutral, downward facing dog. Lift up high into your high plank, lift your heels, hug your belly in, press your shoulders down into your wrist, wrist into the chair, and then tiptoe your way to the chair. We're gonna stand now, I'm just moving mine so you can see me. We're gonna stand beside the right side of the chair. So again, adjust the feet so the feet are neutral. And we're gonna start by lifting the hip, the leg that's closest to the chair, so that would be lifting up that knee. See if you can imagine you're stepping on something. Keep pressing up that knee a little higher towards your armpit, towards your shoulder. And we'll lower it down, shake out the legs. And now we're gonna add on to that shape. So press into your outside leg, right leg's pressing down, left knee's coming up. And now I'm gonna bring the left knee behind me, kick it back, stretching out that foot. To add on, I'm gonna reach my right hand forward. And when you're there, smile, so I can see all your faces, yes. Bring left knee back up, standing leg raise. We're gonna pendulum again, kick the left knee back, reach for the right arm. Left knee back up. This time we're gonna cross it over for eagle. Sink down your hips, so as if you're squatting, your toes can wrap around your, your shin, or you can keep your left big toe on the ground. Option is to stay here. Another option is to come into eagle arms. So left elbow would be on the bottom. Ah, now we're gonna unwrap. Lift it right back up, standing leg raise. Maybe use no hands now. That right leg has had a lot of work being done to it, so feel the power. You have power in that leg. Exhale, bring it down, shake it out. And we'll move on to the other side. So just scoot your chair around so you can get to the outer leg. Here we go. Press into your feet. Gently lift up your right knee. Hey, Bruce, come to help me. See if you can bring it up higher. Keep breathing. And we'll gently lower it down. This is your rest, so shake it out, whatever you might need. And then we'll try it again. Here we go. Lift up. 
Stand tall. Kick it back. Reach forward. Smile here. The dogs are squeaking their squeaky toys. And inhale, bring that right back up. Standing leg raise. Exhale, bring it back. Take that foot as far behind you as you can. Back to standing leg raise. Last one, kick it back, reach forward. Standing leg raise, knee comes up, cross over for eagle. Drop your hips down, create space between the ribs and the hips. Right arm will go on the bottom. So whatever leg you have on top, that's what arms on the bottom, or you can hold your shoulders. Mindfully press into your leg, unwrap, and come back into standing leg raise. And then exhale, bring it down, shake it out. All right, one more, and we're gonna come back to our chair. Just turn so that your top, your seat of your chair is in front of you so you can hold your hands on the seat. We're gonna walk back our feet some and come into a tabletop. Drop your belly for cow, and then inhale, press up for cat. Drop your belly for cow, press up for cat. Really like my cat cows, especially for my back's cranky. These are good. One thing you get when you're standing that you don't get when you're on your knees is your hamstrings. Boy, do I feel my hamstrings and knees. All right, one more. We'll stay here in a neutral tabletop. Lift your right foot behind you. Just like we were doing a second ago, but now we've got, we're in like a, a tabletop shape. Take your left hand to the top of the chair. Lift up that right leg as high as you can. Now point your right toes, drop that right hip. Point your right toes to the floor. Press back through your right heel. And then maybe you can lift off bird dog pose. Lower back down, arms and feet. Give a little shake. All right, guys, y'all are really disturbing. And then we'll shake it out, trying the other leg. Extend the left foot behind you. Look forward, hug your belly in. Take your right hand to the top of the chair. Lift that hip high and then lower it so that the toes are pointing down. And then you can add in that balance. Good, gently lower your limbs, give your knees and your buttocks a little shake. And then we'll come into dolphin pose, forearms on the chair. Is this good for your, your back? It's also good for your shoulders. So scoot your head behind your elbows and push back your hips. If this is too intense, please bend your knees. If you're starting to go, ooh, bend your knees a lot. Taking your time, come back onto your hands. Walk yourself forward. And then gently bring yourself back up to a standing shape and then reach up to the sky. Exhale the arms down, interlace them behind your back. This should feel really good. Arching the front of your chest. Good. 
Exhale, release, roll out your shoulders. We're gonna come back to our chair now. Widen out your stance, so come into like a goddess shape. Point your knees away from your hips. And you see I'm wearing my moon shirt, so we're gonna make a big moon above us. Round and make a ball over your head. And then we're gonna exhale, crisscross the arms, and then inhale, bring the moon above you again. Exhale, crisscross. Inhale, arms above you again. This time, exhale, instead of crisscross, just bring the moon below you. Make like you're rocking a baby kind of shape here, palm on top of palm. Spread your knees, pushing them out away from your hips to get that inner thigh forward fold sensation. Taking your time, bring your hands to your knees. Lift your chest up. Toe heel your feet together. And if you're on your mat, we're coming to that twisted roots pose or a twist. If you're in your chair, I'm just gonna invite you to turn your knees to the right. Take your left arm out and hold onto the right side of the chair and take a nice deep twist. Keep in mind that your head should feel lifted, not you're not in your belly, should not be soft. You're engaging the core, lifting up through the spine. You can close your eyes here. Just breathe a couple deep cleansing breaths. And when you're ready, we'll unwind ourselves back to a neutral spine. Press your back, your mid-back into the back of the chair. Roll your shoulders back. Kick out your feet in front of you. Point and flex those toes. Then lower the feet and twist to the left side of the room. So ankles cross, crossing at the knees or just holding them, touching your knees together. Right hand comes across and folds onto the chair. Turn and lift. Breathe. Bring yourself gently back to the back of your chair. Lean back and you can point and flex your feet, lifting them off the ground again. And we'll reach our arms behind us, taking a stretch above, leaning into the back of your chair, maybe arching your back. And then bring your hands to prayer at your heart. Take a moment and tell yourself, this is my time to relax. And then you can adjust yourself as needed to get as comfortable as you can for Shavasana.
guys already found Shavasana. <laughs> Close your eyes and relax. Let me tell you a story about Ahimsa. It's from a collection of, of stories from India. A wandering monk was traveling through several villages and teaching. One year he came across a snake, a notorious villain of the community. The snake was terrorizing the people, and the monk shared with the snake the teaching of ahimsa and nonviolence. When the monk returned the following year for his annual teachings, he saw the snake again. Once a strong, powerful, magnificent creature had transformed into a skinny, bruised coward, the monk inquired, as to why the snake had appeared so sick, damaged, and sad, and without confidence. The snake explained that he had taken the teaching of Ahimsa to heart, and he had stopped terrorizing the village. However, he was no longer able to terrorize the people, the children they had taken to throwing rocks and taunting at him. The poor snake was scared. So he had to hide, restricting him from food. Thus he became very skinny and bruised. The monk was very disappointed and he shook his head and said, I didn't advise you against violence. I did advise you against violence, but never told you not to hiss. His famous story teaches us that protecting yourself and others does not violate the yama of ahimsa. To practice ahimsa means that we take responsibility for your own harmful behaviors and make an attempt to stop potentially harm causes by others. Ahimsa does not ask us to be neutral or to play small or to cower away or to hide or to curl up. That is not the point of ahimsa. Practice ahimsa means that you stand even stronger in the face of insults. To roll your shoulders back and puff up your chest when someone tells you they don't believe you it can be done or that you don't want something to happen. Next time someone push you, puts you down, know that your values do not depend upon everyone else's. Know that their thoughts, their words, if not delivered with loving intention, becomes their problem, not yours. Practice Ahimsa is an act of thinking, feeling, and speaking with a clear intention and clear motives of love. Go out there and let the world be loved by your intentions. Let the words of others bounce right off of you. and continue to act with your best loving, kindness, and intentioned heart.
Notice how you feel in this moment. Notice any thoughts going through your mind. Just being aware of your body, aware of your mind, and then bring awareness to your breath. Breathe in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Do that once more. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale and let it go. When you're ready, start to make some movements, maybe by rocking your head side to side. come out of our stillness into just gentle movements. Maybe move around your wrist, your hands, your fingers. Move your ankles and your toes. And then when you're ready, you can take another bigger stretch in any direction you like. And then when you're on the ground, bring yourself up to a seated position. And we'll finish out our practice with our hands in Anjali Mudra. Thank you so much for practicing with us this morning. May you remember the teachings of the Himsa and the snake, that just because we practice nonviolence doesn't mean we let violence happen to us. The love and the light in me as sees and recognizes that there is also love and light inside of each of you. May each of you be happy and healthy. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. I'm gonna unmute you. Some of y'all are muted. So are we starting?